couple of minutes to join in. Well, I get my phone set up here. Hi, West. Determine the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my cortex commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. <laughs> we are closer than ever before. Quickly, into the vortex! <laughs> Dr. Cortex! <laughs> the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> I believe so. Failure again! <laughs> Capture him! Uh oh. Vincent Price, he's the uh, voice of Brain from Peaky and the Brain, correct? If so, yeah, that's that's him voicing Engine. Or Embryo, I mean. I can remember I can never remember the dude's name. But uh Embryo is voiced by Brain from Pinky and the Brain now. They did a great job with this remake. I, I played through uh, 1 and 2 recently uh, on this. I'm saving 3 for the, I saved 3 for the stream because I've never played 3 before. I heard it's the best one, so... Well, I got a gem by, uh, not trying too hard. <laughs> I'm not going to be getting every gem on this stream, though. I've already 100%ed this and the second one. Three, I'm just going to play through the main story on stream, and off stream I'm going to get all the gems. On my own time, because it would take too long. And I don't think it'd be very fun to watch, too, because gems can take multiple tries, and... Some of the gems in this one took me like three hours to get because <laughs> it was just over and over dying. The, the colored gems, you have to get every single box on that level without dying. If you die, then it's forfeit.
Um, two is Cortex Strikes Back, and three is Warped. Wrath of Cortex is the GameCube one that nobody likes. I had that one, and yeah, it's a shit game. The one on GameCube. I have, I have no idea. I've only played one, two, uh, Wrath of Cortex, and then I played Twin Sanity. I also had Tag Team Racing, but that doesn't really count as a crash game, because it's a racing game. That's a good racing game, though. Yeah, Wrath of Cortex had, like, the elemental enemies. Man, that game sucked. I'm sure there's someone out there who likes Wrath of Cortex, but the general consensus is that one sucked, and I, I agree with it. I didn't like that one. I liked tag team racing a lot. I know a lot of people didn't. But I enjoyed the tracks. I... I was content with the roster because you had Coco and I like Coco. And I really liked all the, like the bonus stuff. Like I really loved that uh, stunt track mode where you could just like do stunts and stuff for points. Me and my sister would spend hours playing that. Also, hi, Hugo. But, yeah, I, I get it. I know some people don't like it, and I can understand why. Just I personally really liked it. I had, um... I got, like, a Crash Trilogy for Christmas one year. It was how I got Twin Sanity and uh tag team racing it came with one other racing game but i didn't like it was like crash nitro card or crash team racing or something like that it was really bare bones i didn't care for that one what am i doing i'm missing the bonus Not going for 100% here, but it is nice to do the bonuses to get these lives and stuff. Crash Nitro card is considered the second best. It doesn't feel good to play, though. Tie the Tasmanian Tiger? I've heard of that one. I've never played it. I would try it. Isn't there a remake of it on Steam? How is it, if that is the case, if I'm right about that? played the original PS2 version. Just a remaster. Well, that's good to hear. Remasters are good, too. It means nothing was changed, so it's not like it's a bad version of it. It's just, here's the original game that people liked with better graphics. It's CBT. Oh, I don't know if that'd make a good stream then. I get frustrated. I might look into it. I'm good at platformers, so if it's a platformer, then I might check it out.
Now that I'm not going for gems, I'm probably not gonna die too often on this, except during the boss fights. I'm not very good at the boss fights in Crash 1. Better hurry. Oh shit, I got the gem. It's more like it's it's more Mario 64 from what you remember. Okay, so it's like a collectathon. I might wait on that one then, because um I just finished a collectathon. And collectathons aren't something you want to keep doing over and over again because those can get old. Um, I'd like to get to Banjo kazooie, but I'm gonna wait on that. Cause reasons I just said. I wonder if I can beat this tonight in one stream. So far I'm making fast progress. One is a lot more enjoyable when you're not going out of your way to get gems. One has some pretty... Crash 1 has some pretty bad level design. It's fine playing it normally, but uh, when you're doing like the time trial challenges for all the relics, oh boy, there's too many jumps that require precision, and yet it's making like shove through everything at high speed. Bonus. Discord. All right, I'll check it out later when I'm done streaming. Easy. Crash, the original version is playable in Uncharted 4. I heard about that. Yeah, it's an Easter egg. I think it's only like the first level. First boss. This guy's easy. Right, you can just jump on him, you have to wait. <laughs> this guy's such a fucking pushover. <laughs> he doesn't even hit the right way. <laughs> what a shitty boss! <laughs> Some of the later bosses are a lot harder, but that guy's just a joke. <laughs> There's like a mobster weasel you fight later who uses like a straight up fucking minigun and shoots at you with it. So this is something that they added in the remake. You can play as Coco.
Say goodbye to Crash, because that's like one of the last times you're ever going to see him. Aku Aku reminds me of Grim from Grim Adventures of Billy Mandy. He has like the Jamaican accent, if I remember right, so that would probably do it. Same voice actor. Oh, that's cool. I wanted to guess that, but I didn't want to sound like an idiot. Because it does sound like him. I'm not going to be able to get the uh, embryo faces, but that's okay. I think I have enough lives right now anyways. I don't need to do every bonus. was loaded in chunks and unloaded in the same way. Yep. Uh, that's called, uh, I can't remember the name for it, but there's a word for that. Yeah, I didn't get the one earlier because of the plant dude blowing everything up. So I can't get all those. But yeah, a lot of open world games do that. It's a good way to, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good way to save on resources, not having everything loaded up at once. Oh, hey, hog level. These are fun. Coco can't play on these levels, unfortunately. I guess they didn't feel like making it so she could do the animations or something. Or I guess they felt it would be out of character for her to ride the hog. I love this song. Shit. These are a little bit more tough. Just a little bit. You gotta learn all the patterns. Everything is the same though, so if you go right at one spot, it'll be right the next time. There's a lot of trial and error to this the first time you do it.
And I got the gem. They want to have a. They didn't want to have a lolly riding a hog. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna actively avoid crates on a level that has a lot of crates. I think this is one that has a lot. I think. I want to show you what happens if you miss like 30 crates. Nope, not getting it. I don't need it. I'm good at this game. I'll get checkpoints and lives, maybe. Maybe lives. But I'm not gonna get anything else. I think it's the pounding of a lifetime. Okay, checkpoint. I'm gonna grab that. guys. Shit. She's not even a lolly. In fact, if you look at her model, she actually has boobs. Well, I don't think they're being avoiding this one. Damn it. I don't think I'll be getting smashed up this round. Hitting too many crates. platforms. Those platforms were the bane of my uh, time trial challenges when I was doing my 100% run of this. Fuck. These levels in general were awful in the 100% run. Now imagine trying to do this section while the timer's going and you have to do like a perfect run 
Otherwise, you're not going to get the metal you need in order to get the 100%. I, this is one of the levels that took me like three hours to get the time trial for. There's a lot of things that set you back. Like those dudes with the shields bumping you around. There's a secret over here. I'm not gonna do it though because- shit. I'm not gonna do it because there's a crate with a few life behind there. There's one over here too. Actually, no wait. This is the shortcut, isn't it? Oh! I'm playing Crash, so when you said tinier than Tiny's tits, I just immediately thought of uh, Tiny the Tiger, the boss from Crash 2. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> and if you don't know who he is, just look him up. Oh, I should have landed on that little sh spot there. Yeah, I know what you meant, the Tiny Kong. That's why I said at first I, my mind jumped to that. God damn it, Fluff. That's become like a catchphrase. God damn it, Fluff. It's like the, well, excuse me, princess of this server. Well, this is proving to be a little bit difficult. Made it that time. Oh, look at all those lives, and I'm not able to grab them because I wanted to show you guys stuff. Hopefully, I missed 30. Tw oh, yep. Yeah. It looks like I missed plenty. Here we go. <laughs> I could have gone back and grabbed those lives and still got it. Yeah, someone probably did. Made it to the second island. This is going quick. Hell, I might be able to start Crash 2 tonight. <laughs> no, I'm gonna... If I finish Crash 1, I'm gonna switch to Smash. Crash 2 will be another stream.
there's three islands, so I'm already at a third of the way through, so I probably am gonna finish this tonight. Now I can start getting my lives back up. I hit spin like a second too late. Oh, fuck you. I got screwed over by the camera not letting me see that blue dude until it was too late. Crash 2 had a much better camera. It's a little bit more behind his back. Also, the platforms are a lot bigger. So super chill about being in the water. Yeah. Crash does like a really morbid drowning animation. Face down and all. Whew. Here's what I'm gonna do. Get out of here, you fucker. Well, it's waterproof. She's, she's got the best hardware. She's kind of a nerd like that. I'm on that again.
Oh shit. Ripper Ruin, this game kind of sucks. <laughs> Very luck based boss fight. Like everything just has to line up perfectly in this one. He's a lot easier in Crash 2. So, you have to hit the barrels as they float. Not the barrels, the TNT. As they float downstream. And you have to hit it just right so that the timer goes off and explodes right when he's next to it. There's a hit. There's another hit. Shit. Ah, oh, I was down the last one too. Best to aim for the middle. Come on, float, float, float. There's a hit. Oh, fuck. Hard with this camera angle, too. There's another hit. Ah, shit, he jumped to the same one I was jumping to. Yeah, this boss sucks. It always sucked. Fuck! I'm surprised that uh, Ripper Roo is like one of the only bosses who ever did return, because I can't picture this being a popular boss fight that people would demand he return. At least the boss fight was a lot better in 2. There's 2 again. Got him. Shit, I died. Oh, fuck off. jumps around too much, you just gotta get lucky. I'm not the only one who struggles this much with this fight, right? <laughs> He follows a pattern. He's actually gonna jump up here every time now. He's 
gonna. I maybe I have to do it when he's like at the bottom one. So I'm gonna wait a bit. Got him. Thank Christ. Oh, I hate this boss fight. Hugo's a green. It's a bad boss fight. He's a lot more tolerable in two. That's actually a good boss fight in two. Think they're being sneaky. Oh, right, this. This was another hard level to uh, do the time trial on because of the bats. Also, there's some lizards who just. You can't spin into them because they launch you back a million feet and kill you. And time trial, you don't get checkpoints, so... about three hours, four hours. Okay. You cannot go under those. <laughs> well, now that free life over there is just going to be me getting my life back. Not on his tail, but that's good enough, I guess. Got it. I'm actually gonna get all the embryos this time. Those are the dudes that'll launch you if you spin into them. You can spin them if they're jumping, but that's it. It's really weird how that works, but that's how it is. Now, embryo bonus sections are a little tougher. But the rewards are great. Shit. Oh, I had it. Coco's confirmed to be 15. Yeah, 15 isn't Lolly then. That's. Lolly is like a small child, not a teen. If Coco's a lolly, then the Equestria Girls are lollies. It's 
the main six in that are about like 16 to 18. My guess is on about 17. Shit. Luckily, bonus mini games count as uh, checkpoints. Also, there's that checkpoint box I got. Twilight is in our 20s. Uh, do we have confirmation on that? I mean, if she's in her 20s in high school, then she must have got held back, and I don't think someone like Twilight gets held back. Pony Twi, maybe, but not Sai Twi. I'm gonna skip those other boxes back there because getting that lower layer is a risky game because they can break and you're going so fast bouncing in there that you end up falling. I'm content with how many apples I got of that. Wump of fruits, I mean. Shit! Okay, it's not just the red ones. That's right, the green ones launch you back too if you spin into them. Just because Twilight's a princess doesn't exactly mean she's in her 20s. Age has nothing to do with being a princess. Flurry Heart's a princess, does that mean she's uh, in her 20s? Yeah, we don't know their exact age. We just have like a rough idea. And it's not really something worth uh, work arguing about either, because at the end of the day, it is all speculation. That's all we got to work with. You should have seen me on this level during my time trials. I was a fucking machine at the first half of it.
I hesitated and that led to my death. Wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. Come on, respawn. Mm-hmm. Thirty-nine lives, I'm still doing good on that. Stupid bats. Oh, fuck. I almost just did it again. This jump right here was another uh, hard part from my time trial. Did it again. Everything always happens at the same exact time on each life. There's, there's like patterns to this game, and that's like the trick to doing the time trials too, is learning all the patterns. Someone's messaging me on Steam, hopefully that's not popping up in the chat. I mean, on the recording. Shade talking to me about a future stream. That's that friend who joined a little while back. Fuck! These split-in platforms are a little tough for me. It's hard for me to judge where they are. Once again, I know I get to wait another 10 seconds. But yeah, he's talking to me about a future stream. We're gonna be doing Hand Simulator to survive on stream. That might be fun. Oh shit, it went back. I was taking a drink. <laughs> I didn't think it would go back. Now we're talking. 
Some things are a little too generous with the free lives. Not quite the case in Crash 2. How many times I died in this room during my time trial? The end right in front of me. Boy, that was devastating. <laughs> Road to nowhere. Oh, I like these levels. I'm going to show you guys the strategy for uh, beating the speedruns for these. The music on these levels is cool. So check this out. <laughs> That's what I did for my speedrun challenge. I'm gonna play the level legit though, because that's no fun. Oh, right, you have to jump over them. Look at, look at this, they're giving me so many lives. Like, why are they that generous of them? Unless you're trying to get the gems, it's pretty much impossible to game over in this one. In fact, now that I think of it, I actually don't think I got a single game over in my entire playthrough of this, even when I was doing 100%. By the time I got to like the really hard gems, I had like 99 lives. And the speedruns I did after clearing everything else. I thought I could clear over that. Like how that pig can just casually walk over the gaps. Oh! Oh, fuck off! Oh, that would have been a checkpoint, too, that bonus game. No, no, you know what? Whoops. I gotta be more careful to get this. I'm not taking that. I got killed by bad camera. <laughs> I'm not doing that <laughs> again. Whoops. Alright, looks like I have to now. I fell off. There's a risk to doing this too because they can actually slip off of it slowly. These are not meant to be walked on. Okay. Back where I was. This fucking beam is in the way too, which doesn't help. Alright, I got it that time. Now we have a checkpoint.
I want to go back to playing good like I was earlier. I want to make some fast progress. If I can beat this by like 10.30 or so, it'd be great. I'm gonna start picking up the pace a bit. I'm not gonna worry about the 10 hit boxes. Or five hit, I mean. Strangely enough, but despite not being able to see the obstacles, I was always rather good at the boulder levels. Since it just, uh, there's a key on this one. I'm not going to worry about the keys, though. The secret levels. This level is another pain in the ass to speed through. Wait, what? Excuse me? The middle is supposed to come out next, and then the... Uh.
shit. I tried to predict. <laughs> oh, it takes a good while to come out. Nice pattern. Oh, wait, was that one already yet? I see. Yep. I see how it is. That's a CBT jump. You bats. Okay. Progress. I say that and I'm gonna fall all the way down. Okay, checkpoint, good. Someone better rip all of Coco's sounds from these games. Nobody's even really done anything with the model yet. Like, the model is ripped, but nobody actually did anything with it. It is, but... Again, nobody really does anything with it. I could have made that jump.
think I'm getting to the end. like wild thornberries music playing. You know what? I'm just gonna die, because that'll take me back up. Stream is Steam is buffering right now. Constantly, my internet's being. Yeah, need to sleep anyway. Alright, night fluff. That's a nice fast pattern you got there. Yep. I can't believe Coco is fucking dead. I think I'm at a boss now, ain't I? Koala Kong. I think this guy was an easy boss if I remember right. Also, after this I'll be at the final island. Looks like I'll be finishing Crash tonight. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> nice fucking dab. Oh, right, I have to avoid the minecarts now. Shit. That last TNT there is in a real shitty spot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, god damn it. The fucking carts got in the way and I had to wait. Didn't give me enough time. Got him. One more. Got gotcha, you, bitch. Strong enough to throw the massive boulders, but struggles to lift them. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Final island. Here we go. I might actually be able to finish this before Smash. I'll probably get like an hour of Smash, but... I don't like to stream too late. Especially since I have work to do still, after streaming. This was actually a relatively easy level to speedrun. Crash ever does get in a smash, Coco needs to be a skin. Oh, all those wumpas. During the speedruns, you could save time by jumping down those instead of riding. Oh. 
Well. I jumped too soon. Oh, I jumped down the wrong way. gonna get this one a couple goes but it's, this is the one I think it is it's a tough one so I might not do it yeah this is a tough one I might not get to do this without seeing your character yeah fuck that <laughs> I'm not doing it This late in the game, and they're still giving me, like, lives and bundles. And not even, like, hidden. They're just there. <laughs> Crash 2 didn't do that. Crash 2 is a game that actually, despite having better level design, I actually got game overs in, because... They don't give you a constant stream of lives. This is the one with the uh, waste barrels getting thrown at you. No, wait, I think this is the one with the branching paths. Yeah, it is. It's the one with the branching paths. This one was a uh, difficult one to get the gem on because they have to do a lot of backtracking. What is wrong with me? I didn't even attempt to do that in an intelligent way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's not like I need to be smart with this one, because... Oh!
like how bad that Cortex animation looks. Somehow it's less frames than it did on... Wait, which Cortex animation? The one on the TV screens? Oh, yeah. I don't know what the original looks like, because I never got this far in the original. Well, one little thing. Everything else in this game looks great. This was an easy level to do speedrun on. I actually got it in like the first try. No, that's not true. I think it was like the third try. It went pretty well though. Yeah, that animation. That looked kind of dopey. That risk was not worth the one Wumpa Fruit. <laughs> I'm already at the end of the level. It's an easy level. Okay, those aren't gonna zap me. I remember them zapping me for some reason. Once again, a shit ton of lives just spoon fed to me. Wait, oh, I could have gotten a gem there. Oh, no, wait, I didn't get the gem because I died. Right. For a second there, I thought that I jumped in before it could give me the gym. <laughs> Not that it would have mattered. Toxic waste, this is the one with the barrels. This is gonna turn into Donkey Kong. Nuclear Donkey Kong. I love that dude's design. I, I picture him sounding like Joe Pesci. Funny how. Barrels are rolling deadly, don't touch. But if it's in his arms, it's perfectly okay to roll into it. I'll just grow like a third arm. It's okay. Honestly, a third arm sounds pretty handy to me. But um Well, that would be called a Fuda, Hugo. Third leg.
This level only took me like two tries to do the time trial. It's rather easy. Yeah, but there's not a whole lot west, is what I was saying earlier. Like, there is some stuff, but there's not a lot. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know that one. The hills are the worst than this level. There we go. This is the last stretch. I think this dude's the last one. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I forgot. Those are all going to set each other off. They're close enough together to do that. Try that again with that in mind. I could honestly start skipping these bonuses. It's not like I need the lives. Here we go. Pinstri Pinstripe Portaroo. <laughs> this boss is kind of tough. Unless you know the patterns he does. He's gonna change this up in a bit. Yeah, now he's gonna go up there. Okay, now I gotta go over here. No, wait! Shit. Too soon. That would've been the time to do it right after that shot. What are these chairs made of that bullets don't affect them at all? I don't know. Ballistic leather. Pretty sure this guy's voiced by Crash's voice actor. <laughs> Sounds like him. Just doing an accent.
Gotcha, bitch. Jess Harnell. Hmm. We're getting close to the end. High road. Don't do it, Anakin. I have the high road. Shit. I love this song. This game has great music. Ooh. Oh, he stopped. I went into a fucking panic. <laughs> Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Sorry, you're supposed to do it. You gotta go kind of far with him. There we go. Shit! Make you do a long jump like that, but don't give, don't give you any room to land. He didn't stop when he was supposed to. Time that right.
shit. Hard to do when you can't see your character. You have to go by the shadow alone. One more go. At least you don't lose lives for falling in these. Not that I have to worry about lives again. <laughs> There we go. And two. See if I can hit 99 before the end of the game. Slippery climb. Oh, this is that castle one with the rain, isn't it? Oh, this music. I'm getting really bad flashbacks when I did the time trial of uh, Stormy Ascent. I will be playing that level. In fact, maybe I'll start the Crash 2 stream with it. Or I'll end this stream with it. This, uh, the Crash section of the stream anyways. I did that stupidly. I'm not the biggest fan of the castle levels. Luckily, from all I can recall, this and Stormy Ascent are the only ones.
Have I really not gotten a checkpoint yet? Where are the checkpoints? that. I have to do this one because uh, the closest thing I'm going to get to a checkpoint for a little while it seems. trying to do so that I can avoid that. I did that wrong. One. I remember having to like skip across for one of these. Oh, right, it's that easy. <laughs> Giggity. Four lives casually sitting at the end of the file this level. It's like I'm just trick or treating and they're just tossing out candies to me. I guess with the first one, they just kind of assumed that it would be a bunch of little kids playing. Oh no, lights out. These dark ones suck. This is the part where I'm going to lose all these lives now. They did dark levels in Crash 2 a lot better. You didn't have to rely on a mask. So if you got hit, you didn't lose the light.
Okay, that was there. Well... At least this one isn't as bad as the other one, which I think is a bonus level too that I won't have to do. It's one that you unlock with a key. There's a couple of levels that you can just skip. Jaws of Darkness. This is another temple one. so far away and that angle it makes it hard to make those jumps on those I should have waited but whatever ah this I got a checkpoint Well, guess I won't be getting that bonus minigame. There's an, a Cortex head in there. Yeah, and that's where you get the last one. Well, oh, well, I guess I'll get another shot. Yep, I'm good. To be fair, I'm at a dark level and I rely on my shadow to make jumps. I did it again. You're supposed to jump on it. You know what? Just so I can use that Cortex minigame as a checkpoint. Crash 2 is better. Jumping too late, it's making it go too high. There. Jump this time. Got it.
love Cortex's theme in this one. It's like a Bond villain. Well, shit. One more try and then I'm just gonna keep going. All right, moving forward. Uh, where do I go next? I can't see. Oh, this is another. Okay. Wow. Yeah, she's dead. Never forget. Three more levels and then the final boss. Actually, two more levels and two bosses. I might be wrong, I might be looking at that wrong. I'll see in a bit. I think it actually goes around. Oh, you know what? If I had the yellow gem, I could have actually skipped this level. It's okay though, I don't remember this being a particularly long one. It's going to be a long one, though, if I do that. Yeah, if you get the green gem, I mean, uh, I think it's the green one. You can ride that up, get a shit ton of lives, and it'll take you over there.
gems I get anyways, three. Not bad for someone who isn't even really trying to get them. Before I switch to Smash, I'll switch over to my first file, and I'll show off what happens if you get every gem. I'll do the same thing for Crash 2. I mean, at least he had to work for those lives a little bit, but still, they're just handing them out. Those aren't going to be lives anymore anyway, so I might as well just jump over them. This boss gave me a hard time in my first playthrough. Yeah. 
have to jump on these guys. Very, very picky about where you land on those goo dudes. This is what all those lives you build up over the course of the game are for. The last two bosses of the game. <laughs> Jesus Christ! They go so fast, too. Come to you. Gotcha. I don't remember how to do this part. Right, this. Fuck! You can't get anywhere near those dudes. They have such a strange hitbox. It's gotta be like the very, very top of them. They get so small, too. It's so hard to land on them without getting hit. Crash 2 gets a lot better than this, at least. Crash 2 is a great game. By that point, Naughty Dog had shit figured out. One more, come on. Don't fuck this up. Got him. That, for me, was, like, the hardest boss. It took me a lot of tries in my first one.
I actually didn't go so bad that time. Okay, so there's actually two more levels and then the final boss. And one of these levels, I think it's just like a... Exit right next to where you start, or you can just go there with all the gems. Right at this level. Oh, that would have been cool if I blew myself up on that. one to get. Fuck. Yeah, you gotta go like all the way around and up it. It's, it's tough. There's another life up there. I don't really need lives though, so whatever. Yeah, she fell through the floor. Bad touch. Fucking stranger danger. No good. Well. Looks like I'm finishing Crash 1 tonight. I'm gonna do this last little stretch of the game then I'm gonna do stormy ascent and then I'll switch over to my old file and I'll show off what happens when you get all the gems you need all the clear gems which I don't have that all right final boss time this is where you go when you get all the gems and you get the secret ending. I'll do the same thing for Crash 2 as well. I'll, I'll rush through the game, just do the main levels, and then after I beat it, I'll show off the gem ending. Final boss. This is another tough one. At least for me. There's patterns, but I'm just not good with patterns. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! Get ready to hear that a lot. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. So, the green shots you can knock back. Shit. 
shit, I missed, which means I have to go through this whole cycle again. Shit, this is going really well so far, actually. Oh, wait a minute, I might actually have him, because this is, like, the easy part. I just have to avoid his barrages now. Barrage. Easy. Wow, I actually did that on the first try. <laughs> In my first fight through this, I lost, like, 30 or 40 lives during that fight. The game actually, like, gave me a free golden Aku Aku mask at the beginning of the fight. And that's how Set Crash 2 begins, is with, um, Cortex falling. Alright, I'm gonna do the CBT level. And then, I'm gonna switch to my old file, and I'm gonna show off the gem ending. Actually, Stormy Ascent is, is a quick way to the first island. Oop. Stormy Ascent, here we go. This is a, uh, a cut level from the first game that they brought back for um, the remas remake here. And it's basically Champions Road from Mario. Except you have checkpoints, so it's not so bad. It's when you do the time trial that it's miserable. I actually streamed this on Discord a while back when I was doing the time trial. Hugo was there for that. This level's not bad at all though when you play it normally. There's actually a glitch that happens on this level sometimes that can be really frustrating. When I get to where it happens, I'll tell what it is. I've dealt with it a couple times. It's really irritating. Uh, one second, guys. I'm sorry. My mother texting me. She's out. I think she's going to bed. Making sure that everything was okay. If I can beat this without dying. It shouldn't be too bad if I'm not rushing it. No, oh, I'm gonna die there. <laughs> I forgot about that jump. I fucking jump. You gotta like wait for it to line up perfectly.
Wait a minute, I might have fucked something up here. No, wait a minute. Yeah, I did. Oh, wait a minute, that sets up the switch there. Yeah, I, I was doing that right, I just... I forgot. Okay, I can, uh... This, this is actually not a bad one, if I remember right. Just a lot of time to jump. It's not worth it, I'm just gonna finish the challenge. <laughs> Get the four lives that I collected. What a shitty jump. Oh, I always forget about that. You have to just know. This isn't so bad. I mean, at least there's like checkpoints and no time limit. Otherwise, this would suck. But Naughty Dog's a competent developer. They wouldn't do something like that.
There it is. Did it. I got so close to finishing on that stream that day. So, so close. There's that one double platform that kept getting me. The two platforms going in at the same time. That's a really rough jump. Like, that's a bad one. They go fast and it's just... Uh. Alright, there's just one more thing to do before switching to Smash. Uh, how do I... Save and load. I'm gonna load this game. happens and if you complete the game all gems you fall and die like an asshole so each gem you collect becomes a platform here And you get the secret ending. They're gonna fuck while flying on that bird's back. who sold the ruins of Castle Cortex to a resort developer. He then used the proceeds to open a big and tall shop on the island. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rue went on to write the well-received book Through the Eye of the Vortex, a study in rapid evolution and its con consequences. Koala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal in universal proportions. Currently, he's working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. He's saving money for his upcoming uh, gubernatorial campaign. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nitrous Brio this rediscovered his first love, bartending. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash foiled his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. And that's that. Next time I stream, it'll be Crash 2, and that is a much more enjoyable game. I'm gonna enjoy that. And I'm looking forward to 3. Okay. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna close this down. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, and when I get back, I'll do some Smash for a little while. Not a very long Smash stream tonight. Maybe I'll play until, like, maybe 12.30. One at most. I want to get some adventure mode done. Uh, I just want to quit the game. I'll just F4. I'll F4. Okay, so just give me one minute and I'll be back. 